Uh, my name is Patrick O'Donnell. I'm from uh, Wilmington, Delaware. First time on stage, I was nervous, and there were, the crowd was sparse. But I got uh, two or three laughs, I think, uh, enough to come back the next week. You can expect uh, from me tonight uh, a lot of energy, uh, some uh, impressions, and uh, some uh, jokes and some good times. All right. Let's count. How many careers have you guys ruined so far? Let me hear you out there. Anybody? <laughs> All right. Hey, folks, I don't know if you heard about this or not, but the president of Iran said there are no gay people in Iran. No gay people in Iran. Yeah, you know, the same way there's no gay people in the restrooms at the Minneapolis airport. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Come on, you got to laugh about Larry Craig. Tap three times on the stall if you want me. Oh, man, I don't know. Larry Craig, man, he's a smoker. <laughs> Not too many smokers around nowadays. How many smokers do I have out here? Let me hear you. That's quite a few. Now let me hear the non-smokers. Always louder. You got more air. Piss me off. It's tough to argue with them, though, isn't it, smokers? Because the evidence mounts up all the time. Brand new study. Do you see? Just come in from Harvard. People do not smoke, do not drink. You're going to die anyway. All right? Yeah. That's right. Nothing you can do about it. Good news, too, smokers, we're fighting for our rights. We had a march in D.C. Bad news only lasted like two blocks. Ain't that a <laughs> That's enough. I think we proved our point. <laughs> Folks, I'll admit I'm stupid for smoking, but I'm even stupider because I believe smoking could put years on my life. That's right, put years on you. You heard me. Put years on my life. Think about this. A non-smoker steps off a curb, gets hit by a truck. <laughs> One of the same guy's a smoker. He goes to step off the curb, has that nicotine fit, stops laying up a cigarette. <laughs> Truck missed him, didn't it? You don't know what's going to happen in life, folks. There's a plane one time crashed into a restaurant in Indiana, killed 11 people in the restaurant, all sitting in the non-smoking section. What are the chances? <laughs> huh? There were guys over in the smoking section going, whoa, man, what's that, a plane? <laughs> I am nervous as hell, I'm be chain smoking, I don't know that. I was going to quit, folks, but I decided not to, because I was watching the news, the commercials, the laws they're passing, and I figured out, it's that secondhand smoke that kills you. That's what you gotta watch out for. Apparently this doesn't do anything. Like, in goes the good smoke, out goes the bad smoke. I'm just a giant filter, that's all I am. Yeah. And there are benefits of smoking. Did you know that, smokers? It's true. They say nicotine relieves the symptoms of schizophrenia. Yeah. You know it's bad for you when it's killing the people in your head, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah? That is a true fact. Schizophrenics, they have a tough time quitting because they decide to quit. That is a group decision right there. That's what that is. Plus, they say if you're a smoker, you got a 50% less chance of getting Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. Yeah, baby! Woo! I think that's because we're dead already. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but smokers, you know what that means? When you got an angry non-smoker in your face going, you're gonna die a terrible death. It's gonna be long. It's gonna be painful. Go, yeah, but you're gonna be sitting in a diaper not knowing your name. <laughs> you know, hey. <laughs> Who won that battle, huh? <laughs> Let me help you out a little bit. <sighs> And I apologize to every one of you non-smokers. I know I'm being an <laughs> But they're being so tough on smokers nowadays. Right, smokers? Yeah, man. I saw where they want to put pictures. Pictures of diseased lungs on the side of cigarette packs. Yeah, I got an idea. Let's put a big picture of Rosie O'Donnell on a box of Twinkies. Come on, that's a great idea. <laughs> Here's a better idea. We'll put a nice big picture of George W. Bush in a box of Fruit Loops. Come on, folks, that is funny. <laughs> And when you pick up the box, it'll giggle. That means it'll be a giggling box. The box. It'll giggle. <laughs> I love President Bush. I love the way he says the word peninsula. Peninsula. She body lands around on three sides by water. <laughs> He's the explainer, man. Not, in August 2006, they had threats against airplanes. You remember this? Where, where we had to take away our mouthwashes and our toothpaste and all that stuff. All the, all right? And Bush comes out. He tries to explain. He's going, we got plotters. Plotters. That means they like to plot. 
They 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 it was your, they had a, it was your, it's your, it's your four man team. They had a four man team. It's, it's your, it's your, <laughs> means there's four of them. <laughs> they took the swab shampoos, their Listerines, their, their vitamin waters, their Gatorades, and they, they poured all that out. <laughs> and they filled it, filled it up with a mixture of evil. <laughs> it's an evil mixture. And they get on a plane, they give it to a guy. He's like, he's like, uh, Abu Masab MacGyver, some kind of shit, I don't know. And he explodes it with a rubber band and a paper clip. <laughs> it's difficult, it's hard. <laughs> Dick Cheney, what do you think we should do? <clears throat> well, sir, I <clears throat> think we should uh, <clears throat> shoot him in the face. Now, see, I was thinking the exact same guy. <laughs> Hey, you folks have been great.